Another coin to hit the blockchain on the unminable scene is Avalanche. And Avalanche is one of the fastest smart contracts platform there is. So today on that Techo Guy, I'm going to be showing you how you can mine Avalanche and acquire it through the process of mining on the unminable pools. Stay tuned. Okay, so another mineable coin on our mineable that has been released is Avalanche. So I'm just going to dive right into it. And here is the official website of Avalanche. So we're going to start off with a brief introduction of what Avalanche is. So welcome to Multiverse. Avalanche Foundation launches incentive program to accelerate growth of subnets. So it's blazingly fast, low cost and eco-friendly. Avalanche is the fastest smart contracts platform in the blockchain industry as measured by time to finality. So what's possible with Avalanche? Avalanche is an open, programmable smart contracts platform for decentralized application. Build fast, low cost, solidity compatible dApps, launch customized blockchains, private and public, scale to millions of validators with minimal hardware. Okay, so this is very interesting and it's built for decentralized app, obviously, which are also known as dApps. So I'm just going to leave a link to their official website below. If we take a quick look at the price today, it is at 67 euros and 61 cents. And the ranking on coin market cap for Avalanche is at rank number 10. So that is very, very high indeed. And the market cap for this coin is at 18 billion euros, okay? So that is very, very high. We can take a quick look at the chart here. If we actually go to all, we can see that this started around September 2020. And from that time till to date, it has gone up significantly. It actually started at around three euros and 50 cents. And as we saw, it is today at 67 euros and 61 cents. Now enter Unminable. Unminable have a piece of news here that came out a few days ago. Avalanche is now available for mining. And I keep saying mining in inverted commas because you're not actually mining the coin directly. You're always mining one of the other platforms, one of the other algorithms. You're mining ET hash, then you're mining Ethereum. You're mining ETC hash, then you're gonna be mining Ethereum Classic. Kalpao is Ravencoin and RandomX is Monero if you're using your CPU. But again, Unminable allow all types of users using all types of hardware, even older hardware that you might have lying around the house and it will give you the opportunity to get paid out in these coins. A few weeks ago, I also released a video showing you how to mine Baby Dodge and this is going to be the same concept as that video so unminable are always releasing new coins that you can actually start mining always in inverted commas but it's a great way in order for you to earn these coins instead of actually buying them outright now if we go to the coin section here you can see the different coins and avalanche is one of the new ones it is on c chain and bep20 network so it's on the smart chain network as well here i am going to select et hash because in my case if you see my previous videos i am using a 7 gpu mining rig so i am mining on the et hash algorithm because all my video cards which are non lhr graphics cards do support the ethereum network and et hash mining but if you have older hardware maybe you don't have a minimum of six gigabytes of video memory on your video cards maybe you can try one of the other different algorithms or if you want to give it a shot with your cpu you can click on the random x cpu section here and do it that way as well i'm going to click et hash here you have all the instructions and you just need to change your script edit your scripts if you already have other scripts and you have all the information here of how to do that. And I'm just going to quickly calculate how much that would get me. So I'm generating 472 mega hash on the ET hash network. And that's going to give me at the time of recording this video, 0.22 AVAX per day. Now we saw that the price was at 67 euro and 62 cents. So if we do 67.62, times 0.22 per day, that is going to give me a profit of around 14 euros and 87 cents. Then I need to deduct my electricity costs 
which is costing me around eight euros a day at the moment. And that's going to give me a net profit of around six euros and 87 cents. This is more about diversifying my portfolio more than anything else. So I could be mining Ethereum directly and making slightly more, but this way I am making this coin. I can mine Ethereum directly and then swap out to this coin, but it's more work and there will still be some fees involved, especially when you are transferring Ethereum, you, go, you are going to have the gas fee. So it might turn out to be worse in the long run. So this way I am just letting Unminable take care of everything and I'm just mining Avalanche directly and that's pretty much it and I don't have to do anything else. Now for Avalanche you do obviously need to have a wallet as well and this is on some exchanges which are large ex exchanges so you can easily if you have uh, an account with Binance or with Coinbase for example or with Gate.io or KuCoin you can easily just check the wallet there and see what the address is so you can enter it in your script. So when you are entering the wallet address in your script, you can get that from those exchanges. I'm currently mainly using Binance and Coinbase. It doesn't really make a difference which one you use, but you will need to have an exchange in order to be able get, to get your wallet address for this as well and be able to put that in your script when editing your script. Speaking of editing scripts, I'm just going to open up mine really quickly. And I know that most people like to use their CPUs. It doesn't mean it's going to be profitable necessarily. Remember that the payout for Avalanche here is stating that if you're going to do it on the BSC chain, which is what I do recommend that you get paid out on the BSC chain, the payouts start from 0.025. If you're going to do it on the C chain, then the payout is higher. So in my case, I could do either or because I'm going to get paid out every day, but obviously I'm using a seven GPU mining rig and not everyone uh, has that hardware. So for people that maybe want to try with their CPU or maybe on their laptops, just to give this a shot, I would recommend the BSC chain because you're going to get paid out faster at 0.025 AVAX. It's still going to take quite some time. So for random X, I know that mine does around 3,300 hash per second, and that's going to give me around 0.0. 015. It's essentially going to take me around 15 to 20 days in order to get paid out just using my CPU and it won't necessarily be profitable but for the example I'm going to show here today I'm going to go on CPU. It's going to be the same concept for the others you just need to change the algorithm that you're using and for CPU here is my uh, test mining script so here you just need to copy literally what you want to do. Here I was using a BitTorrent token. I'm using XM Rig. You can obviously use the unminable application in order to be able to mine. This isn't going to be much easier to do, but if you're going to do it via script, then here I'm using XM Rig. The server pool name is rx.unminable.com3333. So that's what I have in here. The algorithm is dash A R X dash K is keep alive and dash you will be the wallet. So in this case, I would change this and I would set that to AVAX as it says down here and then put in your wallet address that you will get from your exchange. So I'm just going to type in random things here because I don't have a wallet at the moment for AVAX. And then I will put in, for example, a worker name. This can be anything. It's just to identify your workers, especially if you have more than one. So in this case, I've got Teco Guy CPU. I'll just put AVEX just to know what it is. Underscore one dash P, which is the password by default. It's X and pause. And that's it. And you just run that and it will start mining away very, very quickly. I'm going to show you the unminable app as well. Again, same concept, CPU or GPU, see what you're going to select. Make sure that you update the minor file location. I do have videos, do check them out in the description below on how to use Unminable, the Unminable app, how to actually create scripts, how to use XMRig, how to use Phoenix Miner, how to use T-Rex Miner. I do have all these videos, so do check them out on my channel as well for a more in-depth guide of how to do this. So next on CPU, I'm going to select now, we can find Avalanche. Obviously enter in your wallet address here, depending on what it is, put in your referral code and I'm going to leave my referral code down in the link below. You can use that to reduce your fees to 0.75% as well. So here you would put in a referral code that I'm going to put in down below and then click on start 
and it will start mining away. Obviously, I'm not going to start it. Well, I can start it, but I, I don't have a valid wallet address here. Uh, obviously, make sure it's your Avalanche wallet address that you get from your exchange. Hit start and you're mining with the application. It's very, very easy to do, but with a script, it's not so hard. So do check out all my other videos. And I do prefer the scripts because I get the statistics in front of me of what's happening during the mining process. And I don't have to check the logs in Unminable every time something goes wrong. So I hope that you found this video useful and that you will actually start giving this a go as well. Avalanche is a new coin on Unminable. So thank you Unminable for another coin uh, that we can actually start mining in inverted commas and gaining through the process of mining as well. Guys and girls, I hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.